In this video, I'd like to demonstrate how to create contour flange sketch geometry that actually takes the radial bend curvature into account in the sketch so that we can create nice even flange legs. So I'm going to make a simple Z bracket today and we'll walk you through the process here just creating a sketch on the XY plane and then I will go ahead and start creating a line. Now I'm not going to apply dimensions right out of the gate. I'm going to get kind of close so I know eventually my bracket needs to be about two inches wide so I'll go somewhere in that neighborhood. Left click, hold and drag from that end point, create an arc and then we're going to make sure our line is tangent up to this point. Left click again, left click, hold and drag, create my next arc and you have to be comfortable coming back and doing constraints after the fact as well. So I create my Z shape. I'm going to go ahead and hold down control, right click. I'm going to make this tangent right away just to get that taken care of. And then I'm going to apply a couple of points roughly where the quadrant would be. Now be careful not to latch onto the midpoint. So you want to make sure you stick it somewhere. And then you can always use the geometric constraints to control it, but you don't want it to be uh, centered. Then I'm going to right click or hold the control key, right click and do a horizontal constraint just to force that to be at that quadrant point. And you'll see why we do that in just a little bit. So <clears throat> a couple other, uh, one other geometric constraint I'm going to add, I'm going to apply the vertical from the end of this line to this point to make sure that this lines up there and now we can start applying some dimensions. So I'm going to right click, apply the dimension tool and I'm going to select this point and this end point and I want that to be two inches overall. So I click on two, that kind of brings that over. <clears throat> now I'm going to apply the radial dimension now as well. So this is, allows me to create this dimension but we're going to use formulas. And you can kind of do this either way. I know that I want this to be the bend radius, <clears throat> but it's actually the outside contour and I'm going to be pushing this to the inside. So I have to say plus, and then this is where you can use your arrow to find the tolerance or the parameters. And I'm just going to apply the thickness. So now that's going to be a radius of whatever the bend radius specified in the sheet metal rule plus the thickness of the material determines that outside radius. Now we're going to do the same thing up here except this one is just straight up bend radius. So if you know the parameter you don't have to look it up you can just key it in. And now I'm going to apply one more dimension from this point to the end point here and this now becomes our thickness. So <clears throat> no matter what sheet metal default you end up using, by using bend radius and the thickness, you can now start to automatically control this via the parameters. So we should just need one more. We'll just do a dimension between here and here. But again, we have to take into account that everything is going to be pushed up, left, down, left, and up. So if I want my bracket to be three inches tall, I actually still have to take the thickness into account. So now that we've created this contour, we can right click, finish that sketch, do a double middle mouse wheel click, grab the contour flange tool. I always like to look at the view cube really quickly to make sure it's going the direction I want. It actually isn't, so then I have to flip it. Now that bracket's going to the outside and it is sized exactly the way I want. So oftentimes I'll go back to the home view, make sure I create the bracket the size that I wish, and hit OK. So there we've got our sheet metal rule. Just do some quick verification. Measure from here to here. It is three inches tall. So we took that formula properly into account. Pick on this surface and this point, and we can see it's two inches. So we made the bracket exactly right. If you wanted to verify, you can just eyeball it but you can see that this is exactly tangent with this edge. This edge is exactly tangent there. So it's a perfectly even bracket. And because we use the formulas, when we come up to the sheet metal defaults, we can either switch to a different rule 
and apply it <clears throat> and it changes or you can just come in here and make the thickness whatever you wish and you can see that the bracket adjusts just the way you want so sometimes when you use straight lines it's difficult to get the bracket to exactly uh, conform to the shape you want so sometimes you have to use arcs within the contour flange sketch so I hope you found this useful if you have any questions or comments let me know have a blessed day